Israeli forces have engaged in their heaviest bombardment of the three-week offensive in Gaza. Overnight strikes damaged the home of top Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh, along with Hamas broadcast outlets Al-Aqsa TV and Al-Aqsa Radio. On Tuesday morning, Israeli forces struck the area's only power plant after a lull during the Eid holiday. The plant was forced to shut down, said the manager of the territory's power authority. The main source of Gaza's electricity is Israel, but many of the lines have been destroyed by fighting. Damage to the Gaza plant could leave much of the area without electricity. The bombing pointed at a more intensified assault on Hamas. We struck their uh, leadership premises in order to strike their capabilities to carry out uh, this ongoing onslaught against Israel. Um, we're not prepared for these rockets to continue to strike Israel. We are not prepared that these attacks of infiltration will continue. We will sever those capabilities and strike the Hamas terrorist organization. According to the Gazan Health Ministry, nearly 1,100 Palestinians have been killed since the conflict began. The Israeli military said that more than 50 soldiers have died and three civilians killed by rocket fire in Israel.